Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got bunch of these line segments fully confined in a square A, B, C, D, as you can see in this diagram, such that these line segments D, E, F, K, and B, L are parallel to each other. And likewise, these line segments E, F, and K, L are parallel to each other as well. And furthermore, this line segment DE is 5 units, this line segment FK is 4 units, and this line segment LB is 3 units. And whereas these line segments EF and KL are 2 units each. And now our task is to calculate the area of this square ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And since we are dealing with this uh, tricky kind of problem, so we are going to think uh, outside the box. So therefore, we are going to draw some auxiliary lines as you can see in this uh, next diagram, such that I have shifted uh, this uh, line segment FK to units over here. And likewise, I moved uh, this uh, line segment uh, LB four units over here to get uh, this line segment. So therefore, uh, this uh, line segment is going to be four units uh, and this line segment is going to be three units. So therefore, this whole line segment uh, is going to be the sum of these individual uh, line segments, five plus four, plus 3 that is going to give us uh, 12 units and likewise uh, this uh, line segment uh, PB is going to be this is 2 units and 2 units that's going to make uh, 4 units and we also connected uh, these uh, vertices B and D as well and as a result we got this uh, right triangle uh, BPD and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BPD. I have just copied it down uh, over here such that this uh, side length uh, PD is uh, 12 units. This side length uh, PB is uh, 4 units. And now we are going to calculate uh, this diagonal uh, BD. And since we are dealing with this uh, right triangle, so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. In our case, let me go ahead and call our longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this leg our lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. a in our case is 12. So that's going to give us 12 square. b in our case is 4. So it's going to become b square is 4 square equal to c square. So let's simplify. That is going to give us uh, 144 plus 16 equal to c square. So in other words, c square is going to be simply 160. So therefore, we get this uh, BD square turns out to be equal to 160, where uh, BD is the diagonal of this uh, square ABCD. Let me go ahead and call this as our equation number one. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this another right triangle uh, BCD. And we know that we are dealing with this uh, square ABCD. So that means all uh, these side lengths uh, are congruent uh, across the board. If I call this side X, uh, then all these uh, side lengths are going to be X units as well. And now since we are dealing with this uh, right triangle uh, BCD, so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this leg as our side a, this as our side b, and this uh, longest leg uh, as our side uh, c. And just keep in your mind that this uh, side c is just the 
diagonal of this uh, square a b c d so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean formula a in our case is x so this is going to become x square plus x square once again equal to c square so let's simplify so c square turns out to be 2 times uh, x square and now we can see that this uh, our side uh, c is just the diagonal uh, b d of this uh, square a b c d so therefore i'm going to replace this side c by this uh, b d so therefore our left hand side i can write uh, b d whole square equals to 2 x square but we know from this uh, equation 1 b d square equals to 160 so therefore i'm going to substitute uh, this uh, by 160 over here so therefore we are going to get uh, 160 equals to 2 x square now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 this 2 and 2 is gone so therefore our x square value turns out to be 80. let me go ahead and call this as our equation number two and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, square a b c d and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s uh, represents the side length of the square and in our case uh, our side length of this square a b c d is uh, x uh, across uh, the board as you can see so therefore the area of this square a b c d is going to be x uh, square and now let's focus on our equation 2 we already figured out our x square value which is uh, 80 so therefore i'm going to replace this x square by 80 so thus the area of uh, this uh, square a b c d is going to be 80 square units so thus we conclude that the area of uh, this uh, square a b c d turns out to be 80 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye